we were not just talking. I know you're going to start this video on YouTube and you're going to be like, was he talking about Uber Eats business model again and how they can't make money even though they're not doing anything? They're getting paid for literally nothing. I was not talking about that, okay? I was getting the casino going here. How many wins will NL get this time? Zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got one minute. It's a new weekly. It seems like this weekly, um, early on, stat driven. There's also ladybugs. You know I love a ladybug. You know I love a, a beetle. Actually, I played a little of this like yesterday afternoon. I don't really want to be a frigid housewife. It just just kind of, you know, let's just be an underwater fossil instead, like Kabutops. <clears throat> By the way, can I get some, uh, I, I want to get some pogs in the chat. On Sunday, I completed Pokemon Go research that's been sitting in my hopper for two years. I evolved a drowsy. I did, I, every, people will know, sometimes you get, if you play Pokemon Go, let's say you're playing May 2019, you'll get research that's like, hey, if you catch 50 of this very plentiful Pokemon, you'll get some experience. But if you take like two weeks off and that Pokemon stops spawning, enjoy looking at that research every day for two years. That's what I, I caught one drowsy a month for like the last five months with the pineapple berries every single time. I finally finished it. Now I got to catch like 10 Lilips or something like that. July 2019, you couldn't walk 10 steps without getting a Lilip. I haven't seen a Lilip in like three months. Where the hell's my damn Lilip, man? Anyway, sorry. So moving on. <laughs> um, I don't like any of these. I roll. It's the same shop. It's the same. I'm going to roll. Okay, I will take a seahorse. And I'm trying to think here. I don't, I don't care about shop efficiency here, okay? We got a level. Let's find another green boy. Billy Joe Armstrong. And I don't like those either. I'm, I'm content with this. This is an okay setup heading into the early game. Is this weekly frog meta? I feel like I could not tell you um, what the weekly meta is this week. But I, round one, round two, stats is my, my personal opinion. Okay, I hate all of these as well. There is Yak and Koala. We need the level. We should have done this first. Tropical Fish. Yeah, you know what actually part of the meta is this week is actually stat uh, HP scaling. There, there's some <clears throat> weeks are only attack scaling. This week actually has some HP scaling as well. I'm going to go a little sicko mode, okay? I'm going to try a Koala. And I'm going to put meat on a seahorse here. Watched the rehearsal yesterday. It's insane. I, I finished episode three yesterday. I'm, it, it is one of those shows I'm becoming, well, you know what I'm doing? I'm getting tenet pills. Not, I watch every episode. Oh, I'm only like three episodes in now. And then I also, um, after I finish the episode, I go read the recaps and the synopsis. And then I check the rehearsal subreddit. And I'm like, I, it, it's, it's, I almost tweeted last night. I'm only three episodes in, but I almost tweeted. It's actually insane how much better the rehearsal is than Synecdoche, New York, or Synecdoche, New York. We, we don't have to argue about the pronunciation, okay? It's more about the spirit of it. Like, I'm what this, this show, the, it's, it's great how it's filmed like a horror movie. Like, it's filmed like The Shining with all these, like, tense, uh, like, slow zoom-ins on somebody sipping tea at a, at a table in their kitchen, but they're zooming in, like, really slowly through the front window to create this, like, menacing sort of tone. And then, I don't know. I, I, need, to, I need to watch more of it. But def to me, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about an ARG or, like, a fan theory or something like that. But to me, this, this feels like a show where... Nathan Fielder is exploring, um, I don't know, his, his, how he 
reconciles with having produced a very popular show that made fun of people for like seven years straight um, with also I, like becoming the subject of the show himself. Something along these lines. He's, he's trying to observe himself from the outside. It's an Ouroboros. I, I think it's, it's getting weirder as well. Okay. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Too far, too far. It's, it's just funny. It's mostly just funny. It's just like a funny little show. We could use some scaling. Honestly, how about one of these and freeze me? And then let's think. Let's think. I mean, koala yak. Koala yak's the sort of thing you can hang your hat on. How about this? How about, um, how about this? And this. I would take a level 3 seahorse. I, I would talk about a level 3 seahorse. I don't know how far this jellyfish is going to go for us, but... It gets better, too. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm having a... I'm enjoying it so far, but it is funny that, you know, at first I thought it would just be, like, a funny show. And now I'm like... It is funny. Like, it has some extremely funny moments. But it's also, like, um... A little unnerving. How about one of these? Um... And, and on top of being unnerving, also, like, a little... There's some... I don't know. There's some introspection. There's some meditation to be found as well. You, and you still get some crazy characters, like the guy who crashed his Scion TC at 100, 100 miles an hour. Two, three. One, two. You see that? One, two. One, two, three, four. Sequence. All of life is a sequence. Two wins. You see this? Seven hearts, seven hearts. There's seven apostles in the original. Uh, there's seven sins. 210. That's how much uh, a Burger King combo costs in 2008. If you go up and say, give me the 210 special, you get a hamburger, a small French fry, no drink. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm moving on. <clears throat> My jellyfish is never going to work here, okay? So here's what you do. You sell the jelly. It had its chance. You move you to the front. You shat on a turtle, you give the turtle some meat. You freeze the salad in lieu of better options. It seems like there should be a way for a giraffe to fit here. I don't want to walk you through the flowchart, but then I'm like, okay, like if, I, I want the giraffe to also buff the yak. But if the giraffe buffs the yak, then we got to move the tropical fish. If we, if we sell the koala, I don't know. You, but if you sell the koala, where do you put the yak? You put the yak at the back so it gets buffed by this, but then the turtle must give the melon to the seahorse. I don't respect it. I think instead, <clears throat> I think instead you just go in on the tropical fish, honestly. Yak Tack is attached. Still a good song. Probably my favorite country song of the last few years. I mean, you can't deny Garth Brooks standing outside the fire. Numerology guy's roommate kind of looks like NL. I, I, I'm in danger of becoming the guy who's talking way too much about this show, but I did like how there was just some tension with the roommates, and then like 15 seconds later, they're almost, apropos of nothing at all, they're about to fight in the living room. Why are you stepping to me? Why are you stepping to me? Just don't see why you're so concerned with all these numbers, but not with real life experiences. You know what? I think you're gone. I think we found a way to fit this. I know I gave you some meats and, and I wish that I could give you some more, but let's get a mantis with a melon attached here. Let's give you some support. We can always add a second turtle into the equation. You, dude, this is beautiful. Okay, a little extra scaling. A lot of people are going to have held foods, so there's not much uh, room for the Siberian husky. And we'll end the turn here. And then him saying, you don't need a license plate to drive a car. Okay, but I will say, I, I saw a post from somebody that said, in Portland, apparently, you actually don't need a license plate on your car. I did not know that.
But Oregon's kind of crazy because you also don't pump your own gas there. No offense, Jay. I know you live in New Jersey, which also has the same rule, but... All right, so now you can come to the front. You could provide me with a melon armor. Honestly, I would overwrite the croissant here and, and not feel bad about it, but then there's a part of me that's like... You'll lose, you'll lose what? Ah, very sneaky, Chad. You tried to trick me. Well, we should still get a melon, but on whom? Like, we could set it up like this now. You could get a melon. You lose your meat. I would, I would consider that to be a fair trade, probably. Thank you, Chad. You saved me. Your, your feedback saved me. I don't see any of this working. I, the llama has been pretty good for me this week, but I, I don't see any of it working just yet. I think we gotta go, we gotta accept that actually the mantis is the money maker for us. Maybe, I don't know. So, we buff the mantis as high as it'll go, as fast as it'll go. Hank. This seems horrible. Oh my god, by one? No, 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 we made it! No, we're still gonna die. That's still, it could have been worse. Hey, NL, just enjoying the devil's lettuce over here? What's the devil's lettuce? Arugula? Me, five years from now, giving a behind-the-scenes uh, interview on that joke? So I, the joke was I knew that he was talking about marijuana, but I had to think of what's the funniest-sounding leafy green? That could make it seem like I don't know what it is, and that's half of the joke. And the other half of the joke is repeating a funny word, like arugula. And then it came to me, arugula. I thought, radicchio, no. It's not even a leafy green, it's more of a leafy red. What about a Belgian endive? I said, ah, it doesn't work, it makes you come across as un unrelatable, a little bit too haute cuisine. And I said, arugula, it's perfect. It's got a goo sound, it's got a roux sound, it's got everything. I don't know why I would put it there, now that I think about it. Good unit to kill? Sure. Sorry, um, James Bond. This snail's got time to... It's got no time to die. Sorry, James Bond. This... Sorry, James Bond. Hold on, we can make this work. <laughs> Up next, with a cut from his new album, Sting! Take us away. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm beginning to think this squad might be not that good. Turns out garlic's still pretty good. Yes. Yes. We have four wins. Okay. On hurt, summon one random pet as an 8-8. Eight eight. Okay. 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 Why don't you come... Who am I going to kill, though? We should kill a tropical fish. The time has come. Kill a tropical fish, but enjoy the buff briefly. Do this so maybe you get a little extra support. This this makes sense to me. Lemon is so good. That would go hard on a on a saber tooth tiger. And then uh, I was just or it would go hard on a yak probably first. I was like, we could kill a turtle again and put melon on the yak. Then I saw Walter White handcuffed inside of the backseat of a <clears throat> GMC Suburban? Hank! No! You piece of crap! No, it's good! It's good! No, it's not good enough! No, it's fine. We're, we're making it out of this round. Whoo! Okay. No sweat. Good? Good? And then something worth killing. Sure, I guess that makes sense to me. And then freeze the whole shop. I mean, I don't think the saber tooth's getting us to 10, but it's an interesting fantasy. Love it. Still love it. Uh, I don't know if I love it. It turns out actually this uh, these units are pretty strong. Pretty strong lads back here. Sure, you killed me. I do not love it. Do not love it at all. Anyway, they'll take five, considering how. Uh, Stunlocked I was for almost that entire run. I think I could accept that. 
and we'll run it back. Do not love it? I mean, I'm okay. Maybe love is a strong word. I'm okay with it. Okay, let me get a cricket. Let me get horse mosquito. I'm not thrilled. But early game, who cares? Doesn't matter. It'd be a saucy banana. Can I tell you something I've never told anybody else? Um, I've never eaten a banana split, I think. What a shot. Lies? No, the only time I've ever seen like a banana split is at like Dairy Queen. When I was a kid and I went to Dairy Queen, I used to get um, the Dilly Bars. I'm 250K on 10. Don't horse around. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> I thought we won that one too. My dad would always get a banana split. I would always get the Dilly Bar. And then when I became like 10 or 11, I would start to get the Blizzard. I graduated to the DQ Blizzard. I'm not going to mess around. I know you probably go into the Dairy Queen and you see the cooler full of pre-made ice cream bars and you're like, what kind of idiot would come to a restaurant, open a freezer, get an ice cream bar, eat it in the restaurant and then drive home? That was my family until I was 10. We would drive 25 minutes to go to Dairy Queen, get a pre-made ice cream bar, eat it at a table. There's something about the Dairy Queen smell too, right? There's like an industrial coolant smell that it, it actually feels like home. Anyway, sorry, let's not get too stunlocked. One of these. I really don't think a seahorse is that valuable, but we need stats early. Let's, let's just try something like this. What happened at 10? Probably I went to Dairy Queen with a friend, is my guess. Shoot the horse. <laughs> and uh, my friend was like, why are you getting a dilly bar? You should get a blizzard. And then I was like, you know, oh, big kids eat blizzards. And then I started eating blizzards. I mean, B DQ blizzard is pretty good. Every blizzard is probably the equivalent of like six scoo scoops of ice cream, though. But, you know, when you're like 11, who cares? You're running around outside like seven hours a day. bat me dan you're in a lot of trouble here just just being real with you like this squad has nothing right now what's better a blizzard or a mcflurry well like the the blizzard would be my preferred choice for a number of reasons one of these reasons is that um i think it tastes better another reason is that the machine actually works like, if you went to Dairy Queen and they said, uh, oh, sorry, the Blizzard machine is broken, the restaurant would be out of business. That's, like, all they got. It's like going to McDonald's and they're like, sorry, we don't have french fries today. You're all gone, so I'm not going to get too precious. But you got to go jelly, seahorse. There's a chance that something can happen here with the clownfish. It's, it's genuinely just a chance. Let's try something like this. I do, I do hear my baby. I'm going to go out and check on it. Don't, don't panic. I'm going to go out and check on it. We can't win this one. Baby's not happy with the plays. No, I'm not going to baby it. I'm, I'm checking on the situation. The situation is it, is it. No, I hear it's something. She's probably just out of chocolate milk. That's my guess. Okay, this team is is bad. Dan, I'm. I, you got to play what the shops give you. Okay, I'm. I'm doing my best. How about one of these? I really need a level. I don't expect this to do too much for us, but... <clears throat> I'd be angry too if that was the case. I've never, I've never been a milk drinker in general. But certainly never the chocolate milk. That was a huge turnaround for us right there. This is where things can start to pop off. There's win number one. It finally happened. Now watch this. Now the squad gets insane. 
And then sell me. Buy me. Buy me. Porcupine is it is so takeable. It's got the perfect smoky eye. Freeze me, roll me. Okay, you know, in this situation, the horse is close to leveling up, whatever. On a level one jellyfish, I snooze that. Please. We live till chocolate, level up the porcupine, get a lemon on it, go hard. Honestly, the absolute worst um, weakness that could have possibly been applied there. Thanks for nothing, Bat. You literally only had to hit like a single good unit and we probably would have drawn. But I like this. Now let's look at this for a moment. Four, two, three, two, three. I mean, I think you fit a poodle. Even though it's it's only gonna buff the bat or the jellyfish, I could take either. As I've gotten older, I don't get the banana split either. I have this fear that I'll be eating it and start choking on the banana, and then some hot chick will walk in and see that and won't want a guy who chokes on bananas in Dairy Queen. You can compensate for that by being the only guy in Dairy Queen who's wearing shorts. She'll be like, oh, this guy's choking on a banana. That's like a little cringe. But on the other hand, his jeans must be good because he's wearing shorts in the damn Dairy Queen. There's a chance. There's, there's, a, there's a chance. There's more than a chance. There's a guarantee. Please explain. The joke is that, and this has not been my most popular take. The joke is I always make fun of people who are wearing shorts on extremely cold days. It's always men. <laughs> I'm just, sorry for the generalization, but uh, that, that appears to be my experience so far, like 100%. Um, and I always think that they're doing it in order to signal to other people that like, look at how strong I am. It's minus 17 degrees Celsius and I'm wearing shorts outside. And then people go like, no, I just like the cold. I'm like, no, I, I bet you don't like the cold. I bet you're fucking freezing. You're just trying to show everybody else on the street like, whoa, that guy's so cool. Like both literally and figuratively. I'm content with the squad right now. You, I, we just gave you garlic, but you, need, you actually need a lemon. That's an upgrade I'll pay for. Sure. Weaken, weaken, close, it's close, it's close, it's close, it's, it's, it's a draw, saved. What about when you see women going out and they're wearing like really short skirts in the winter time? Well, I consider them uh, victims of uh, a patriarchal society at that point. That's why I, 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 I pity them for feeling like they have to play the game. I say, sweetie, I wish society hadn't done this to you, okay? I'm not like other guys. I think you should be able to show up uh, at the club wearing a huge puffy jacket or something like that, looking like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Don't say sweetie. I was, talking to, that, I was speaking to my niece in my headcanon. And her name is Sweetie. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> you can find me in the club. Bottle full of bub. That's pretty true. I mean, I don't know. I guess we're going big jellyfish here. Chalk me. If we live, it's coming. Hold on, the porcupine. Hold on, the porcupine. Get owned? Yeah, why am I accepting backseating from Dan? The man is, he's never played Super Auto Pets in, in 2022. I'm going big jellyfish first. Dub, we're on four. 
Dude, we got to scale so much faster than this, though. And it's hard. I can't really pivot from anything that we got going on. I mean, I guess we, we could, in theory, put a saber tooth out there, but we, we kind of got a good thing going with our scaling. If anything, we just need a, a, the poodle to level up as soon as possible. And a bat getting a level three to overwrite more equipment would be mighty helpful as well. Oh my god, the lemon. We got screwed, man. We got... Dan, we got screwed! <clears throat> Llama jellyfish? Yeah, let's just... On, on near lethal, let's just sell all of my good units to get something that would pop up if, if, if we had 10 HP, maybe. Come on. You gotta play the, the shops you're given, you gotta play the amount of HP you have. It's, it's science. We have to roll. I mean, I guess we could buy, let's get the HP. Let's get the bat. And let's pray we don't face a good team here. Or an amazing team. This team seems beatable. That's a very strong uh, hippo. It's not that strong. It's not that strong. Okay, chocolate, please. We need another bat. Whatever, I'll feed you. No chocolate. One up doesn't really work here. Cat is an insane scaler. So here's what I'm thinking. It's, it, this is the ultimate choice. The poodle goes, and then we could give three units four HP. That's valuable in and of itself. And then if we live, we can actually sell the giraffe. Well, I don't know. We'd have to think about it. I would freeze this too, though. The scaling is better on this. Override the melon. Override that you didn't override the melon. You piece of crap. Five wins again. You know what? We lost to better cats. Bishox, I'm going to need you to chill, okay? <laughs> I'm going up and down with Bishox, man. It was like a month ago, I was like, I, I saw your post on Reddit where you made a joke about my Super Auto Pets play, and I was like, that's pretty funny. And then someone replied to your joke, inviting you to make a personal attack, and you said, yes, I will. Then I brought it up to you on stream, and you said, sorry, I won't do that again. And then I thought we were all good. And then like two weeks later, I saw you make another fucked up comment on the subreddit. And then, I brought it up on stream, but I added you first to make sure you weren't there, because I fucking went in. And then, when we were playing Sporkle, I saw you type it 20 times. Please do, can you identify Slavic foods? Please, can you I, do uh, identify Slavic foods? So then I said, okay, Bishox, I'm going to extend the olive branch. I'm going to do the quiz where we try to guess Slavic foods. That's where we discovered herring under a fur coat, which is like uh, the most insanely disgusting food I've ever seen in my entire life. And I thought that we were friends. And then I go slash user Bishox, and I'm just going to read these unfiltered right now. 999 messages following for... Five months. I honestly thought it was more than that. Maybe you unfollowed and followed again at some point. Okay, most recent message. I'm done, Monka S. Okay, I'll chill, Monka S. Monka S. Stop freezing foods when you need chocolate. Don't freeze the pear. Stop freezing foods when you desperately need chocolate. I realize Ryan talks so much, so he always has an excuse to lose. Among Us doesn't suck. Like, just insane comments like, Among Us doesn't suck? What's, what are you talking about? Just, just relax, man. It's too far. All right. Start a prediction. Five months, get him out of here. No, I recognize, maybe I'm misremembering names, but my key value pair dictionary in my brain, it goes back a long way. I feel like B-Shock's use, he was around... And then maybe he was like, I'm not going to watch this loser anymore. And he started watching uh, slot streams instead. And then he came back and followed and was like, you know what? He's earned it again. I think it's an unfollower, an unfollow refollow situation. Can you tell me, Bishox, am I right on that? At least be honest with me about that one. I'm checking. He says, I do watch XQC. Okay. That, I mean, I'm not saying anything negative about XQC. I'm just seeing like the, the pipeline. 
the NL YouTube watcher to NL Twitch watcher to Normie Twitch watcher to NL Twitch watcher pipeline. My juicer. Okay, we're launching. Two three. You're a two three. You're a two three. I'm okay with this squad. Be an upset noob. I hate that you're right. <laughs> Me too. How do we lose this one? <laughs> we had... Oh, never mind. Da who, Dan, did you war chest? This is a, a potential 10-piece incoming. Oh, it's true. Cricket's more like a 1-3. That's You know what? That's pretty true. That's pretty true. What's better, a 3-4 or 2-2-3? Two, two, th no, a 4-5 or 2 three fours. Probably 2-3. This is a great shop. We got a lot of good options here. I would even freeze both of these. I like how he repeats people's username to remember them. I'm shocked that I'm the only person where when someone, like makes a mistake in traffic, I repeat their license plate to myself. But I will say, and I swear to you this is true, I was talking about how I'm on my Joker arc with Apollo yesterday, <clears throat> and I give people the finger all the time when I'm driving and they do something reckless or annoying. <laughs> then yesterday I was driving, okay? And it's the you're gonna say it's a repeat bit, I promise this is a new story. This is just what, it, it just happens every day. I have to turn left, uh, there's no space for me to turn left until the light turns yellow. Two cars go through on the yellow, and I'm like, no big deal. Then one motherfucker goes through on the red and is hunched, like I, driving like Michael Sarah with a 35 degree forward bend in his back with no confidence, go, r illegally running the red light at the world's slowest speed. I've already entered the intersection because that's how you say, I'm gonna turn left on this shit. Okay, so ev he eventually they make it through the intersection, I'm turning left, a cyclist that was going straight, I kid you not, the first thing he did was go, like, like he's gonna incept me to throw it in reverse, and he was like 35 feet away from me, he was like trying to convince me to like move back into, like use the reverse gear, and I said that's not gonna happen, I kept turning, and then he gave me the finger with the thumb out, and it made me rethink my whole worldview. Because I felt really bad when he gave me the finger. I don't like somebody else being like, hey, you're an asshole. That feels bad. And I've been doing it because when I get the finger, I'm like, hey, man, I'm just trying to get home, okay? I'm not trying to cause any problems. When I give other people the finger, I'm like, you idiot. Why would you uniquely try to inhibit me and me alone with your selfish actions? And then I was like, wait a minute. I think I, I discovered some personal growth. Didn't you have the right of way? Well, technically, but he was an anti uh, r slash fuck cars mod. So that gives you the right of way no matter what. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm, this is not great for our frilled dragons, but... That's okay, because our frilled dragons aren't great. You're still like, what, you're a 2-3? We can get some long-term scaling done here. Just roll me real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking as we speak. Levels are still important with the clownfish. I don't think we need a turtle. Let's just keep this croissant. This just in, man discovers empathy at 37. The irony of, of a personal attack. I'm so, I'm not like the streamer, I'm so empathetic. By the way, here's a, a fucked up ageist comment. But it doesn't matter, you don't have to have empathy for me because I was number 101 on the leaked Twitch dossier. There was, a, so I'm getting stunlocked too much, but I remember there was a dude on the subreddit who was mad that people were uh, saying don't be uh, like don't make personal attacks at NL and he, he said like I think you should be able to make 
personal attacks on NL. He has a very comfortable lifestyle as a result of our viewing. And I just like replied to him and I was like, you can just post the comment. Like the worst thing that's going to happen is you might have the comment might get deleted is you're not going to go to prison. It's not like you're not allowed to do it. Like while you type it, your hands aren't going to lock up. And like, you know, I'm going to be like, oh, you know, like I don't have that kind of control. And then I, so that's what I typed. And he said, yeah, but it's annoying to me. And I was like, you know what? Sanest hate viewer. It was not B-Shocks, by the way. What a delightful scenario we have here. How about this? How about this? Add a faint trigger. I don't know. Could be interesting. Reformed. We win these. Hey, NL, middle finger, get home safely. That middle finger is like, it's kind of living rent free for me for sure. But then the dude also looks so much like my dad in the 90s that I was like, I don't know if maybe that made it hurt more because it was like my own dad was telling me he was disappointed in my driving. I wanted to chase after the cyclist and like roll down my window and be like, hey, just so you know, I really wanted to make a left turn that wouldn't have inhibited the flow of traffic. Unfortunately, some dude driving like Michael Sarah blocked the intersection and I'd already entered the intersection. There was somebody behind me. I couldn't go back in reverse. I had to complete the left turn. No, no, no. This is not elephant blowfish. We got three wins in four rounds. This is a great situation here. What if you flip me off again? I'd be on the news probably, would be my guess. I'm actually going to salad here. It's a, it's a rare salad. I don't mind this. I don't think the blowfish is the way to go here, man. I'm just being 100% sincere with you. I don't think it's the way. All right, this is horrible. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> if you're sticking, I mean, you don't really need another level. We could invest that money more fruitfully. You're not going to get the clownfish buff. It's so expensive to get that clownfish buff. You, on the other hand, are a little closer, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Little meat. I don't think this, there's meat involved here because I don't think any of these units are sticking around, really. You're sticking around. It's too late for the jellyfish to fit. How about give me one of these? Nice little buff on yourself. And then I'll tell you straight up, straight up, we pivot off of the frilled dragon next round to add a dolphin. A dolphin snipe can go extremely hard right now. Feel free to screenshot. Local man voted kind to streamer after graciously allowing cyclists to flip him off two times with no incident. True! That's probably what would have happened. Oh, no. I think, in many ways, people think I'm crazy because we live in a crazy world. In a just world, I would probably be voted sanest man. Okay. This is a trap. There's no reason to level the frilled dragon just to get a buff from the clownfish. I say no to it. We move onwards. We take a dolphin instead. Why don't you take a garlic? This is a bit of a rare one. Yeah, you're going to get ready to level up as well at some point. This team can do something, man. It's still pretty... Or the, the hedgehog's got to go as well. The hedge, We can sell the hedgehog. Probably should have sold the hedgehog, quite frankly. And with that hedgehog, we could have added a second sniper, which really would have helped out here. That really would have helped out. Love this, though. Nice buff. Love this. This is just a good situation. So you would, you're a 4-3 that's going to give two 1-1s one, a turn. It's, it's got to be Shark. It's, it's Shark as the day is long. And then who goes to the front? Let's, let's say the Dolphin. 
Not used to the dolphin being this strong. Owned. This is the team of an endless pivoter. This is a problem with the jellyfish, you know? You're, you're constantly trying to pivot to make it work. Yeah? Well, pivot this. I said pivot this. I buy you. This is a... You got to win early with this team. That seems helpful to me. 17, 19 dolphin. You, you don't normally see a dolphin get to this level of stats, man. Don't. Don't. That, dude, he hit both of the, he hit the unit with garlic both times. It's a dream come true. You still need one of these. I don't know, man. Do you really need a pineapple? I mean, it's in the shop, so I'm going to give it to you. But I'm, I'm skeptical you need it. Now, let me, let me hit you with something a little atypical. I think it's more important that our shark levels up. I actually I go all in on that. Even more so than the clownfish, the shark needs the to scale faster. It's like in the bear... When Carmi got his dream Chicago beef. Okay, first off, spoilers. I've not seen it yet. Okay, good shuffle. Honestly, I got to give you respect for the big shuffle there. So close. Secondly, can I tell you? I watched uh, while I was uh, setting videos last night. I watched a little of a, a classic film I'd never seen before called Movie 43. It's uh, easily one of the worst films ever made. It's not even like close. Um... But in, like, the third sketch with Liv Schreiber and Naomi Watts, their kid is played by, uh, by Carmi from The Bear. Now, I know you're going to say, I thought you've never seen The Bear. I have never seen The Bear. However, because you won't shut the fuck up about it, I know who's in it. Okay, that could not have gone worse. That hurts. Seven wins. We were so close. The problem with that one, we didn't win early. You, well, actually, we won early. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the damn hippo was too strong. Lemon hippo is really tough. Why would you watch movie 43 instead of the bear? Because when I'm uh, making thumbnails, I don't want to watch something that's good. I want to watch something that's bad so I don't get so distracted. Okay, it's a bit of a strange team, but it is what it is. A peculiar eggplant. It's like I said in Chib stream last night. I was getting really distracted watching Chibli stream. And then his internet went down. Seems very typical amongst people I follow on Twitch right now. And I, I was like, man, I'm getting so much more work done now. I love to have Chib's offline screen up on my right monitor while I'm while I'm making thumbnails. We really just don't need another cockroach, but we can we can run like a psycho cockroach for a minute. Big whoop. We draw. Watch Spider-Man 3 last night. Are you pro or anti-emo jazz dancing scene? Um... Spider-Man 3, I saw theaters opening night, and I considered it one of the greatest betrayals in cinema. I'm very anti most of Spider-Man 3. And I've avoided the revisionist history that says it's actually good. Mostly propagated by people who saw it for the first time when they were nine, when it came out. And then as they grew into adults, they, they didn't get a chance to watch it with an adult mind. Instead, they just carried that nostalgia with them into adulthood. Which is fine, by the way. I'm sure I have many movies like that as well. Citizen Kane from my childhood, for example. What are we going to do with a damn turtle, man? All those movies were, were betrayals for me. Saw X-Men 2, saw X-Men 2 on DVD. 
thought it was an incredible film. Oh my God, it's a grown-up superhero movie. Lady Deathstrike, Colonel Striker, whatever the dude with the fireballs is called, Pyro. It's like, this movie's insane. It goes hard as... Nightcrawler? Alan Cumming is Nightcrawler? Go see X-Men 3 in theaters. Just completely ruined the entire franchise. Mr. Fireballs? We don't need a turtle. But it's, an early melon is insane. Well worth it. I think we gotta realize that probably a dodo or a bat is one of the only units we could run long term here we ran bat recently let's try a let's try a dodo croissant now we're not going to put the melon on the cockroach we're just going to put it there for now because he's the best unit available we don't have to have our final team set up yet we just have a team that's like good enough for right now Waste of time. Anybody war chest on this one? It's another waste of time. This is... I'm, I'm taking my level right now. Little food meta, huh? Little food meta. Little bison meta? Maybe we are going to put the melon on the cockroach. Little bison meta. It's a bit strange. We lose this one for sure. That's a very strong team. It should display if you are a war chester. Absolutely. I think it should display your lifetime uh, plus minus. Your, your lifetime profit and loss whenever I see your bet. Okay, this is simple. You bison me right now. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate this. Um, for the time being... I'm going to choose to place the melon on our best unit, even though at some point we'll probably be like, maybe we wish we put it on something else. But for now, you get it. Oh, no, because we can't sell it, because it's, it's got to stick around. So enjoy having some use. Well, I'm not Susan. So good. frowny face I'm not joking Dan the internet issues it's like the most annoying thing in the world you you have my sympathy it's unfortunate everything I say sounds sarcastic so it sounds like when I say you have my sympathy I'm being sarcastic but that's just the only way I know how to talk I'm going big scalar here we're, we're gonna get some foods that can target you target you We got a lot of HP. Even if we lose this one, I'm not sweating it. I see you trying to socially engineer me to read your comment. I saw it earlier. Hey, NL, I saw your progress pick from yesterday. Congratulations. It made me think of how you should add a zero option to the shop. You almost got me. Dan, can I show you something? Apollo, I don't know if Apollo is face blind or something, okay? Let me show you something. We did this yesterday, so I apologize for the repeat bit. What the hell was going on with me, like, last June? This is an old thumbnail. Apollo was like, yeah, your face looks like you just smelled something bad. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? I look like I ate a younger version of myself. Nobody cares? I care, dude. I Because I, I was setting the Geo thumbnails, I almost set it with the old thumbnail. It looks the same. You're crazy, okay? <clears throat> What's the face? The face is like...
Do it. Looks like you smelled something bad, but you're trying to hide it, okay? Something like that? Not even close. Same face. Accurate. You're too good at hiding it. Anyway, I, I remove this. Level me? Bro, I'm just asking for a good food. Okay, You know what? I'll feed you a freaking one of these. Who cares? I think you're going to live. If you're not going to give me good foods, then sure. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll take a meat for four, four damage now, two HP, and then give me some more juice later, okay? And you know what? Why don't you buff a dodo for the time being? The dodo will get past the stats on, but then why do I want you in the front? Why are you in the front? What are you doing in the front? What are you doing in the front? This doesn't make any sense. Why would you be in the front right now? Because you, you're buffing a dodo. We don't need to buff a dodo. The dodo can leave. Forget the The dodo should give the... There you go. That's the squad. That's the squad. Croissant is much better. Definitely not um, because we're, we want to replace the croissant. If, if we didn't want to replace the croissant, I agree. But we're going to want to replace the croissant with a lemon as soon as possible. Or some even some garlic until the lemon shows up. I'll take two more HP. Thank you very much. More foods, please. Just good foods. Better pizza, better ingredients. Interesting. It's an interesting web we weave. Don't need the giraffe, I think. It's, uh... I'd love some more, I mean, I know I... Here's the thing. I'd love more attack scaling. You're gonna be like, why didn't you buy the croissant? Because the croissant is not good enough. We need even better attack scaling than that. How are we going to get it, though? I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, the easiest way would be a level 2 bison. I actually hate you. <laughs> oh, level 2 bison. The exact thing we asked for. Thank you so much. Um, there's definitely a part of me that thinks you can just have an ostrich here as well and then buy a bunch of food. Like, this seems like you sell a giraffe... Buy an ostrich, freeze me, roll me. We need tier fives, right? Tier five, tier five. We definitely freeze this food. I think we keep, uh, maybe we just re-roll the rabbit. We're probably never taking it to level three. And now the ostrich, we're, we're treating the ostrich like a, a self-buffing moose. Probably take a couple rounds to get off the ground, but once it gets going, oh man. Is it stealing to put grapes in your pocket and just walk out? Is it stealing to steal? Yeah, I would say, in my opinion, stealing is stealing. But we've, we've progressed, by the way, as a society. We no longer ask questions about, is this stealing? Isn't this stealing? We don't worry about the semantics. Instead, we now get into a discussion, um, is stealing wrong? And I, I would say... Most people in chat are conflicted, but might say, no, stealing's right. As long as you're stealing from someone who has more than you. Or a limited liability corporation. Like some people, in the early 2010s, chat was very much Al Pacino in heat, okay? Um, they were like, we have to uphold like order in society. Now they're much more like Robert De Niro's inimitable portrayal of Neil Macaulay from Heat, where he says, we're not here for your money. We're here for the bank's money. Your money's federally insured. They're very much on Macaulay's side. Now, how do they reconcile that with the fact that Neil Macaulay treats uh, Amy Brenneman in the movie as if she's like a disposable love interest? Like he wants to have his cake and eat it too. He wants to have a meaningful relationship. At the same time, he refuses to compromise his desire to... Uh, leave as soon as he feels the heat on his back, you know? And it's ultimately leads to his downfall that he tries to have one foot in both camps simultaneously. But that's something they're going to have to figure out for themselves, I suppose, when they get to the self-checkout next time. Okay, how about one of these? Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scale you. I think you're scaling good here. I think you could use a lemon, even though it makes our ostrich temporarily scale more slowly. That lemon's going to go off.
I lived. Mm, we lose this one. This is a very strong team. It's just me, but stronger. Hey, an anonymous gifter. It must be Michael Mann. That's Michael Mann. Thank you so much for the gifted subscriptions. I love your film. Your movie saved me. Hey, why don't you... We should probably do that now. Why don't you take a melon and roll? Why don't you freeze me? Sure, why don't you level? That'll be a tier six. And then you're going to roll me. And now we've got great scaling on our ostrich, and we're looking for good foods. That's a good enough food. I'll freeze pears with a level two rabbit. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're popping. <laughs> oh, we are popping. This team is good. Hey, Mr. McFun Pants, thank you as well. Collateral is better than heat. I can't be mad at that take. I, I think I disagree with that take, but Collateral is also an amazing movie. Starring uh, Tom Cruise as Vincent Collateral. You know what? Maybe we're done with foods, and we would love to have a little, a little snake out here. Seems like a good move for me. Don't really think anyone else needs a lemon. Collateral, great, great film. What do you think is the best and worst Quentin Tarantino film? Okay, I've not seen Jackie Brown. I know that's not based. Snake, you're really screwing me up on this one, by the way. It's really hard to not take Pulp Fiction as number one, I think. Like, Pulp Fiction is really good. I almost feel like if I was taking something other than Pulp Fiction... It would be just to be like, check it out. I'm not the guy who picked Pulp Fiction. But I think I really like Inglorious Bastards. That, that might be number two for me. And I also, the longer that time passes and the more I see it, the more I like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. When I first saw it, I was very uh, confused might not be the right word. But when you're watching it the first time, you're kind of like, where's this going? It, it's been three hours and 45 minutes of just two guys talking to each other, interspersed with like one fight scene. Um, and after I left the theater, I was like, I don't really know. I don't really know how I felt about that. And then I watched it again on TV like a year later. And I was like, no, actually, I think I love this movie. It's just, it, it's a meandering a uh, love letter to an older era of Hollywood that Quentin Tarantino really likes with a, a friendship between two flawed individuals that ends in like a power fantasy that, that I found very entertaining. I enjoyed it a lot. Thoughts on Death Proof? No one's going to believe me when I say this. I was the only motherfucker in 2008 that thought Death Proof was better than Planet Terror. Okay, actually, you need a pineapple. I shouldn't have given you that melon. I watched Planet Terror, and I was like, it's, this is fun. Don't get me wrong. Then I watched Death Proof, and I was really into it. Everybody thought I was crazy. They looked at me like I'm the fool. Please? Please draw me? Not quite. Everybody like Death Proof more? Take it from a devout Rotten Tomatoes reader in 2007. I didn't see the movie until 08. I'm okay with this. This is a t I, I think we sh this should go 10. My opinion on this is it should go 10, but I could be wrong. Um, everybody in 2007 was like, Death Proof, not Quentin Tarantino's best. Kind of boring. Planet Terror. Oh, another uh, incredible turn from auteur Robert Rodriguez. I was in the not plurality take for a while. Thank you for taking me to nine. You're right. I could ditch the cockroach. It's got to be for something better, though. Maybe we don't want this. Okay, for the lionfish, I agree. I think it's the best option. Sell me? 
Buy me. Roll me. Not interested. Buy me. What if? What if you gave me a chocolate or a snake? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Whatever. Don't, we don't need our level three anymore. The scaling is minimal. I lived. Well, kind of. <laughs> Not really, actually. No, no. My lemon? My lemon? My no! <laughs> well, it's not like the cockroach would have saved us. It's just a strong team, man. Honestly, it's just a great...